Hello everyone, my name is Richard Schaefer, uh, field partner and advisory uh, board member of United Financial Freedom. Here to talk a little bit about the MoneyMax account and why it's specifically beneficial to given individuals in the financial services arena. Uh, having been in the industry myself for nearly three decades in both the insurance, securities, mortgage and real estate fields, and having been involved with this technology in various iterations for nearly a decade and a half, it's given me a lot of context with exactly not only how it's able to be beneficial to clients, but how it's able to help you as a professional in your industry uh, give yourself that competitive advantage we're so always looking for. So today we're going to talk a little about specifically to insurance agents and financial planners. They have a very different role uh, in their relationship with their clients than other financial professionals. Uh, oftentimes I had a mortgage company for many years. Uh, I was very old school and I wanted to meet all my clients, but many people in the industry today don't specifically have a reason to. They do everything electronically and so forth. But most people in the financial services industry, particularly financial planners and insurance agents, have a lot more of a personal intimate relationship with their clients, a lot like many realtors do. They still go to many of their homes and so forth. They have to deal with the husband and the wife and they're, they're dealing with important financial plans and goals and so forth. And that gives them a very unique and special relationship with their clients. But the one challenge that they have, besides the fact there are lots and lots of people that are competing in their space, lots of insurance agents with lots of different companies all around the country. And of course, you can do a lot of things to give yourself that advantage, but we're all looking for a couple of things. So we're gonna break this process down in a couple of segments. Let's look at this in terms of three sections, before, during, and after. So before is the type of things that you do to actually get a client, to get an appointment with a client. So advertising, marketing, lead generation, and branding. We're all looking for those things that give us that unique competitive advantage over our peers and that value added proposition to our clients. Another thing that's very important to insurance agents is you have to have good persistency, right? If you don't keep your business on the books, you get chargebacks and that's not a good thing in the daily life of an insurance professional. So imagine if you had something that was a much better door opener. And why do I say that? Any of you that have been in this industry for any length of time know that insurance is an important part of a financial plan. I can tell you honestly, it was the very first business that I got into and it became very real to me very early on because I actually paid two death claims to family members and close friends in my first two years or three years. And so as a result of that, it really left a lasting impression on me. The challenge was, if we were being honest, even ourselves, most people really just don't wanna talk about insurance. And understandably, the reasons for that are that unfortunately something bad has to happen for that person to benefit, right? They have to, somebody has to steal their car, their house has to get burned down, they have to get sick or die. And those are not things that the average person really wants to talk about if we were being genuinely honest. So the truth of the matter is anything we can do to help get us in that door, no matter how we want to get creative with our vernacular, at some point we still have to say that it's an insurance-based product. There's nothing wrong with that. But we know those of us who have been in the industry for a long period of time that people that you know and don't even know will practically cross the street to avoid talking to you about insurance. So imagine if you had something that was the ultimate equalizer that everybody's willing to talk about, which is how to budget their money better how to be able to get out of debt, right? The number one reason that people can't afford to be adequately insured or properly invested for goals like college and retirement is they simply don't have the money. And they don't have the money because they're so overwhelmed with the burden of being enslaved to debt and the debt service associated with all of these expenses they have. So being able to have something that is that door opener. Additional proof to that is every January 1st, and we're coming up very close to that again, there's two top New Year's resolutions that always stand out among all others, fitness and finance. Lose weight, get in shape, get out of debt and save money. The problem with sticking to a plan, and most of you on this video have probably been in this experience yourself. You spend a lot of time sitting down with somebody and going through maybe dollar cost averaging, the rule of 72 and the time value of money and budgeting and the importance of being properly insured in college and retirement, all of these things, and you feel very accomplished about it. And then two weeks later, they see a brand new car on the road or a, a commercial about a vacation at Disney and that whole plan went out the window. And we've all suffered that kind of frustration. But imagine being able to have a financial planner that went home with them. Something that helped, you're almost like whispering in their ear to help them not only stay on track, but begin to understand the short and long-term impact of every decision they make. Now, every time they go to make a purchase, it's gonna show them the real cost of that. Not just today and tomorrow, but six months from now, three, four, five, 10 years from now. It helps change the way that they look at those decisions. And being able to understand the effect of every decision they make in real time. 
Now, what is that going to do for you as an insurance agent or a financial planner professional? It's going to do what? It's going to not only open more doors for you by giving you that unique strategic advantage, changing the conversation, but it's also going to give you that value added proposition to your clients that's going to increase retention and no doubt lead to a lot more referrals because it's a different conversation they've ever had in, to anybody before. Imagine somebody that thought they had 20, 25, 30 plus years to be out of debt. Because if you ask the average client, when is the day and month they'll be totally out of debt? They could never tell you, but it's such an important thing to know. So our ability to help give them some clarity on that is very, very powerful. So you being able to be the one to open up that opportunity completely changes that relationship for you in a big way. Now bear in mind, our goal is not ever to distract your energies, it's to augment them. Because we always have to think, what is our exit strategy? We spend a lot of time talking about our client's long-term plan, their exit strategy. But unfortunately, we all know sometimes our own home suffers. You know, my family grew up in the construction industry. My dad used to always say that sometimes a carpenter's last house he works on is his own. And I think as financial professionals, often we're very guilty of that as well. So we want to make sure we're also planning for our future, that we have an exit strategy in order to be able to diversify. Obviously, the market changes and the economy changes. But one thing is for sure, sadly enough, debt is worse than ever. People are in worse shape financially. Even with all the tools and resources and education online, people are more lost and hopeless than ever. So being able to have something that actually deploys technology, but in a very user-friendly manner, something as easy as uh, and the equivalent of online banking, but gives them the power at their fingertips to literally help your client bank like a bank, to be able to know to the penny, to the day, exactly which debt to pay off, how much and when, in the most efficient manner, to eliminate the most amount of interest and be able to build the most amount of equity possible by paying that debt off faster. That makes you not only a, a insurance agent, a financial planner, but a trusted, genuine advisor and consultant that they're gonna to continue to go back to that separates you from everybody else that they know. So when their brother or sister or friend or next door neighbor or coworker gets their insurance license, you don't have to worry about them beginning to take your clients. You've already firmly established that in a very, very powerful way. We certainly hope that these, a couple of these tips gave you some insight on how this beneficial uh, strategy can help you with your clients. And our goal is to always come up with additional content so that you can understand how to be able to continue to build your business. Because at the end of the day, that is our ultimate goal, is how we can align ourselves with other financial professionals. As opposed to having to go directly to the consumer, although we could, we certainly understand that it's much more efficient for us to be able to link arms with other financial professionals that have already spent years, perhaps decades, cultivating those warm, intimate relationships, that trusted source relationship that you've worked so hard to cultivate with your clients. And this is just an extra added weapon in your quiver, so to speak, that you're able to be able to deploy and help bolster your opportunity to be a more valuable and qualified professional to your clients. So again, this is Richard Schaefer. Thank you so very much. We look forward to seeing you soon. Much success.